Though I speak with tongues of men and angels, if I don't have love, I become a sounding brass in a vain jangling. Watch what else it says in 1 Corinthians 13. I can have all knowledge, not some, all. All knowledge of all mysteries. Have faith to move all mountains. That means all faith, all mountains. Nothing can stand before the faith that I have. And I see all things by discernment and prophetic utterance and all that stuff. I have all knowledge of all mysteries and all faith to move all mountains. And if I don't have love, nothing. I got nothing. Now, all I know in today's church is all faith to move all mountains and all knowledge of all mysteries is a spiritual icon, keynote speaker at the world conference, and everybody is thronging them to get hands laid on them. So he uses the highest expression of Christianity and says, if you don't have the heart behind it, you're on a vain journey, and it'll find you out, and it'll be a hard fall. That's why a gifted man sleeps with somebody that's not his wife. That's why the truly anointed person gets caught back in an addiction. But if you live by the Spirit, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's not presumptuous talk. That's Bible. It's Bible. Ain't that something? You can have all knowledge of all mysteries. Some of us, that's all we're seeking. We just want a word. We just want a word. We just want a word. No, you want to become love. Because if you become love, you've got the word. <laughs> Why? Because it's the goal of our instruction. It's the purpose of the commandment. It's the end and the wrap up of that commandment. Love. And if we miss becoming love, we miss the whole point of why he came. And we've done a whole lot of church and failed to become her. Ain't that something? I'm reading this right out of the Bible. Some having strayed from this truth, this purpose, this end, this instruction, they've turned aside to idle talk. Desiring to be teachers of the law and understanding neither what they say nor the things which they affirm. How can Paul so confidently talk like that and not be caught in arrogance? Because you know people by their fruits. There's people that listen to people preach and react and get angry and call them everything they can think of and write about it. That's a good sign that people don't know Jesus. A real good sign. There's so much hate out there in the name of Christianity. God said through Jesus, there's people coming a day where they're going to kill people and say they're doing God a favor. Ain't that something? 